Hi Terps, it's Emily from the Division of IT and today I'm sitting down with Ralph Sita from Cyberary. Cyberary is the new cybersecurity startup that's now going to be found in the Discovery District for UMD. Um, so I'm just going to start off with some questions. So how did you come up with the idea for Cyberary? Well, um, let's start back at the beginning. I, I have another company that I started a few years ago that was a brick and mortar computer training school. It mm -hmm. still exists. It's right up here in Greenbelt. Um, and I actually hired my co-founder here, Ryan Corey, and he worked for me at Train Ace for about 11 and 11 and a half years. Um, then one day he came to me and he said, hey, you know, there's got to be a better way to do what we're doing and do it rapidly and make it scale and really kind of get this thing, you know, out of the box. And we came up with the idea, let's start Cyberary. Talked about it and about an hour later we had our first uh, couple of contractors mm -hmm. making classes and the idea has just blossomed since then. Yeah, so uh, to be specific, Cyberary is an online training program that teaches people how to use cybersecurity, right? Uh, that's that, that's it in a nutshell. I mean, we consider ourselves a career development platform now mm -hmm. that gives people opportunities to train, uh, develop their careers, expand their horizons. You know, all frictionless because we made all the video courses free, so anybody anywhere could kind of you know take a shot in the dark and maybe think about becoming a cyber and IT person. So. My biggest question is, obviously cybersecurity is something that's super important. Why make it free? If people need to do this, you could charge them, right? Well, yeah, you can, and, and we do. There's, right. We have some you know, freemium model type of mm -hmm. things, if you will. But we needed to make it frictionless. And to be frictionless, it had to be free. Because giving everybody the opportunity to take a course that normally would cost you two, three, five thousand dollars mm -hmm just didn't fit into the realm of making this thing scalable, making people you know, have the opportunities that they never had before. So free was a starting point to find a way to build a community, community and a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. So from free, there's other options that get deeper and deeper into however you want to develop your career. So how many uh, users do you currently have about well, I can, I can tell you almost exactly, but it is over 2.2 million users worldwide right now. That's crazy. We, we add generally about 60,000 now mm -hmm. a month. Uh, two and a half, three thousand new users join us mm -hmm. every day. So it's pretty exciting and it just keeps ramping up. Mm -hmm. You know, a year ago we were adding a thousand new users a day. So. So did you see it getting this big when you started? So I think you said like 11 years ago? Well, we started Cyberay on January 1st, 2015. Okay, right. But so did I see it getting this big? We haven't even gotten to be a fraction of the size we're gonna right. get. Right. Um, so it's, it, we envision it, you know, really getting way past the two million, but you know, it's gonna be 20 million, 200 million one day. Right. So big way up. So for the Terps that don't know, you originally started out with Cyberry in Greenbelt, right? We did. We, um, we had a smaller office. <laughs> this is 11,000 square feet mm -hmm. and the other one was 3,000 square feet. So we had people um, huddled around in an office. Mm -hmm. um, we had people sitting in the hallway working. <laughs> um, it was cozy to mm -hmm. say the least. Here we got a little, we have a little more space. Yeah, I a think. A lot more. I read numbers on it and this is like triple the space that what you were in before. Almost four times. This yeah. is 11,000 square feet. I mean, it's quite the size. And this is actually considered our temporary home. Right. Because moving again. we're going to move again as this discovery district expands. So will we uh, right down the road about uh, less than uh, two tenths of a mile. We'll get into a brand new office building where we plan to take the whole fourth floor and that's going to be 25,000 square feet. It's crazy. So that, yeah, I'm scared to death. <laughs> <laughs> Why are excited. You scared? Well, excited, you know, I yeah. guess it's one of those things. So, how are you going to use all this new space? I know you're growing, but what are you going to do? It's, is it hiring more, needing more people, expanding into different programs? 
Well, uh, all of the above. We, um, we have about 45 full-time employees right now. We've got a bunch of um, contractors and engineers, uh, I'm sorry, interns and so on, but not really here all the time, obviously. But we plan to be double the size we are by the end of this year. And then in a year and a half, two years, we plan to be over 200 employees. So we're gonna put on, we're gonna triple our engineering team, we're gonna double our uh, content, which we now call our learning team. Uh, everything here is going to grow. The sales team needs to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot more bodies. We figured things out in a lot of ways, and now it's about execution. Mm -hmm. So speaking of interns and new employees, you're so close to University of Maryland, and University of Maryland has great programs in computer science, engineering, cybersecurity, things like that. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to have any interaction with the UMD community? We um, are gonna get so deep into the back pocket of the University of Maryland. I mean, when we looked for places, mm -hmm. we literally had all signed, almost signed with another place, and I said, well, that's just not good enough. You know, the University of Maryland's right here. It's a top-notch school. I went to here. <laughs> Obviously, it produces great people, right? Yeah. So um, I said, let's look a little closer here and find out what they have to offer. And we kind of stumbled on this because we were really looking for that really cool startup place with the brick walls and the mm -hmm. beer cellar and this guy, stuff and the other. This place came uh, uh, open, and we saw it, and it's like, this is perfect. You know, it's expanding in the area. We have room to expand. It's a cool location. Mm -hmm. The University of Maryland, we, you know, we already hired probably four people from the University of Maryland already this year, and we want to get more and more people. So this is just perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, um, we're excited. Yeah, I think the Terps are excited too. So I guess take me a little bit more into the specifics of taking actual courses online. Um, I am a journalism major, so not too great at things, but I did make an account. I started looking into like what it would be like to take a course. Sure. So some of them are super long. They're like three months, so like a term. Um, Those are probably some of our beginning courses. Right. We're now making them you know, more bite size. Mm -hmm. We've totally revamped the way we, we do our courses too, whereas we built them all in the beginning ourselves. Mm -hmm. We are now a crowdsourced um, platform. We have over a uh, hundred instructors now creating courses for us every day. Wow. And that grows um, every day we add five or ten new instructors. Um, so you can see us growing, growing, growing. So mm -hmm. now the courses are bite sized, they're 15 minute. Mm -hmm. segments during uh, 45 minute segments you know now there's five segments what used to be one long course kind mm -hmm. of thing so think of the um, Spotify model or yeah. even you know something like it I don't want this whole album do you know what an album is yes okay just some old <laughs> uh, it, it, you want this song mm -hmm. you know I just want this song this song this song right same thing here you don't have to take a whole course you can take a module of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what you need for your job. Maybe that's what you need for that interview. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what you just want to enrich yourself for a home project. Or you can take the whole thing. So um, some of the courses are longer. Some mm -hmm. of them are, you know, just right on topic of something that just happened yesterday or the day right. before, the week before. So um, interesting mix we have. It is. It's a really cool mix of things, and I love that you're making ex it accessible for people who just want to know just a couple new skills. Um, with the longer term courses, what kind of skills can you, as a person, if you take the course, if you're really learning, what kind of skills can you leave the course with? Well, anything you can do at a brick and mortar school or mm -hmm. on your own, you can do here, but you can also go steps further because you know, aside from just taking the video courses mm -hmm. for free, we do have what we call our Cyber Insider Pro, and that's a paid subscription, very affordable, but it allows you to um, take the, uh, the type of hands-on applications mm -hmm. that you would work, that you would use at your next job or right. a place you want to go, and it gives you an access to a mentor, career counselor, whatever you want to call it, to kind of work with you and mm -hmm. see your progress and, you know, maybe this isn't for you, let's switch gears or do something else. 
uh, and it, again, it gives you the hands-on applications that you know will make you job ready right away. So you can easily spend three months on Cybrae and walk away with the knowledge, skills, and abilities that will get you a job at you know your IT department here at the University of Maryland, Booz Allen, Ernst and Young, um, Lidos, SAIC, GDIT. All these companies are looking and starved for talent. Mm -hmm. In the United States alone, numbers fly all over the place, but a solid basis, there's 300,000 jobs in cyber and IT in the United States alone that are vacant. Mm -hmm. Worldwide, there's over 2 million. So this is an industry that has negative unemployment. So get trained, put a little time in, find a job immediately. I mean, it's all under, you know, we, we made it very easy for it to put, you know, this type of um, education and your career mm -hmm. in your hands. Literally, the amount of time you put on this on your own time, you, you can control your future pretty easy. So really what you're doing is giving people more opportunity to get the new jobs and learn more and that's You awesome. have to do it at scale too because employers in the old days were very afraid to train train mm -hmm. their staff because if I train them, they're gonna leave, I won't have anybody to replace them. Right. Our model is fill it from the bottom up, provide more talent, you know, just enormous waves of talent to bring into, you know, employment and then employers aren't afraid to, you know, train this person because they're gonna leave because there's 10 more people now to replace that person, whereas there wasn't five years ago. This still has to happen and it's mm -hmm. happening quicker and people are changing their hiring mentalities where I need you to come work for me but you have to right. have five years experience. Well now I need you to come work for me and I see you have the knowledge, skills and abilities and you've proven it because mm -hmm. you've taken tests and assessments and uh, you've been ranked against other people in the industry. Right. I know you're a good find. You don't have that five years experience but you, but know, you have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks. You uh, like it. <laughs> All right, I think those are all the questions I have. Um, it's been so great talking with you. Thank awesome. you so much for yeah. sitting down with me. Oh, great experience, thank you.